this is Jaden from Steamy Kitchen and we're making kale salad with cherries and pecans. If you love food blogs, this book does not even need an introduction. This is the Smitten Kitchen Cookbook by my friend Deb Perlman. Recipes and wisdom from an obsessive home cook. I chose this recipe because I'm always looking for ways to use kale in a recipe. A lot of people think that the only way to cook kale is to cook it for a very, very long time. but. Kale raw in a salad is crunchy. I love the frilly leaves. And kale is healthy. It's got iron, vitamin A, vitamin C, and beta carotene. Pair it with soft goat cheese, tangy dried cherries, crunchy pecans, and paper thin slices of radish. You've got a killer salad. This is kale leaves. It comes in a bagged package. Normally I like to buy the kale in, um, in whole form, but this is all I could find at the market. Down the middle of each kale leaf is what I call the spine. It's really tough, so I like to just tear it off. And all you have to do is fold the leaf in half and tear it off. You can cut the radishes by hand, slice them as thin as you can by hand, or you could use a magical mandolin. This is a $15 mandolin and it creates beautiful, thin, paper thin slices of radish. And Deb, I was lazy and I didn't toast my pecans. I'm sorry, but I did find a package that included cherries and pecans together. So I just added that to the salad. Goat cheese is really soft. So what I like to do is just use a fork and let that crumble the goat cheese. For the dressing, there's mustard and honey. Look at this luscious honey. Apple cider vinegar, salt, freshly ground black pepper. Go ahead and whisk these ingredients together first. While whisking, slowly drizzle in the olive oil. This helps you emulsify the dressing making sure that the dressing together comes as one. For the full recipe, or if you have any questions at all, head over to steamykitchen.com slash 108. You can get the Smitten Kitchen Cookbook by Deb Perlman at any place that books are sold, and of course, online at amazon.com. There's a link right below. If you love my recipe videos, please subscribe.